Hi, Maine 40 community. This episode of The Lazy Girl Hack has been brought to you by my friend Jane, who shares my concern about hair loss and maintaining healthy hair. So in our 40s, we may notice that our hair is falling out in clumps. And I'm so alarmed when I saw all the amount of hair that I was shedding. And it's seasonal too. So some seasons I would lose more hair and there would be so much hair on the pillow. Also in our 40s, my hair tends to be a little bit drier. So it's often uh, when I'm touching my hair, the ends especially feel like uh, they've really dried out. So trimming can really help with this. But my lazy girl hack is I don't wash my hair more than once a week. Sometimes I extend it to once every 10 days. I know this may sound really gross. My sister often says, oh, how can you get by with just once a week? But it saves time and it also saves and preserves the moisture of my hair. My female naturopathic doctor has often told me that washing your hair too much and with the wrong kind of shampoo can result in it stripping all of its essential oils, hence leading to the dryness. So my first task was to take a look at the ingredients of the shampoo that I was using. And oftentimes I wasn't reading what was contained in my shampoo, but they contain sulfates, which are a necessary component in order to get that nice lather. You can still get that nice lather, but without sulfates, which are chemicals that tend to strip and dry out the hair. So I now pay attention to the ingredients in my shampoo and I found a couple which I'll link in the description box of this video where you don't have to compromise on the nice lather because I really do like that as part of the experience especially if I'm only washing my hair once a week. I want it to be something that feels luxurious and it's, it's going to be a treat. After I wash my hair I focus a lot on how I dry my hair. And then after you find the right shampoo, next is the method of washing the hair. I used to just stand in the shower and really being efficient, just turn my hair back and then wash it this way. But I was told by my hairdresser that it's better to flip my hair um, upside down and then take the handheld shower and then just rinse it so that my hair is completely flipped and inverted. So by doing the polar opposite, it encourages hair growth and it, it promotes it to become stronger. So I do this when I wash my hair and then also when I dry my hair. Drying my hair upside down, it also benefits it by creating the volume. When I style it once, it tends to last throughout the week. And you don't have to do this, but I like to curl my hair. And by doing this, it gives the impression that I put some kind of work into it. So then when I show up for meetings, for work or for anywhere else, the hair is always styled and if you find the right curling iron, I like to use a barrel of one and a half or, or two. It just gives a bit of more of the next level polish look and it only takes a few minutes because you're not looking for perfect curls and you don't have to do it every day. The next tip is one that I really enjoy. And let me know in the comments below if you have seen this or tried it. It's a scalp massager. So it has some pointy ends here that are bendy and flexible. And this again is a very inexpensive tool. I'll link it in my description box below, but you can get it um, in a couple of places. I bought this one online. My sister bought it for me on Amazon and she was convinced that this would help minimize the hair loss. And after trying it, I'm also convinced. And so this is something that you can do quite easily throughout the day. If you leave it in your bedside table, so you could do it before you go to sleep, I would just kind of do this gentle, circular motions on my scalp and this helps unclog the pores of my scalp promote circulation and also hair growth it's also very therapeutic it helps me to relax and de-stress so just doing this for a couple of minutes each day i also notice that it helps maintain the shine in my hair as well so this is something that i highly recommend that you give a try and if you can make it a healthy habit I certainly think that it makes a difference in preventing or minimizing hair loss and also promoting growth. So the fourth thing that I recommend is mastering the bun. So I'm gonna show a demo. When you take your hair, you kind of make a twisty. You twist the hair on top of your hair. You take an elastic and then you wrap it around twice. Then that really helps because especially while you're cooking and you're sleeping. So when you're cooking, 
you don't get the food smells absorbed into your hair. So then without the hair smelling like food or getting dirt and oil on it, even the dust, it protects it from all the dust that would end up in your hair, then you don't have to wash it as often. And then when you put your hair in a bun while sleeping, I found that I see less on the pillow when I wake up. It helps to minimize some of the hair loss. The elastic, it shouldn't be overly tight. So if your scalp feels like it's there's tension and it's hurting at the end of the day, you know that the elastic is too tight. It's a trial and error, so you have to try a couple of elastics because everyone's thickness is different. And then you also don't want it to be falling out and then you have to constantly redo the ponytail or the bun and, and too much fussing with the hair can also create tugging and, and hair loss as well. And finally, I do take supplements with my hair in mind because of all the amount of shedding. So I did talk to my naturopathic doctor and I'm using a hair formula. So these are capsules that contain collagen among uh, other ingredients. And I found it to be very, very effective within the first month of me using it. A lot of the hair that was falling out, I saw a significant decrease in the amount of shedding. As well, it was promoting the growth so before it used to be very difficult to get my hair beyond a certain length, but now I'm finding that I have to go for trims a lot more regularly. And it also helps benefit by strengthening the nails and promoting some of the skin benefits that I speak about in my channel. Another necessary supplement that I take is Omega Oil. And uh, you may be very well aware of the benefits of Omega Oil. I love taking this because I can tell that for certain benefits, not just the hair shine and promoting hair growth, but it also helps with the overall aging process of the body. It helps stimulate and produce a lot more collagen. It helps with the joints as well, so less aches and pains in the knees, uh, which I was experiencing, but I feel a lot better now. And I think some of it is attributable towards like regular exercise, but also the omega-3 components. I also enjoy eating salmon, so that could be something that you try incorporating into your diet as well. And then it can help benefit the hair as well as the skin and overall health in our 40s. I hope this episode was helpful. If so, brush the like button, hit subscribe, and if hair loss is one of your concerns, try some of my tips, but most of all, the lazy girl hack of just washing once a week. I promise you, after your hair and scalp get adapted, it will be sustainable over time without feeling icky or grimy. Like I actually feel that my health of the hair has gone up the less I wash it. Until next time, Take care and see you again with better skin and better hair. Bye everyone.